Hey everybody, Gavin Syme here with Liberty School and we're gonna talk about law today. I wanna talk about the rights of government versus the rights of the people. The government essentially has no rights. They inherently are not a human, they are a government. They're an entity meant to serve the people. Of course, individuals within the government on an individual level have a right to their rights. But people say, well, the government can do this or the government can do that. No, the government can't. The government can only do what is within the boundaries of number one, natural law, for example, our, our God-given rights, our right to defend ourselves, our right to speech, our right to travel, our right to protect our life, liberty, and our property. So government can act within those boundaries alone. Anything without that is automatically lawless, no matter how much legislation they've passed over here. You see, legislators don't, they don't make law in the fundamental sense. Law already exists. It doesn't change. It's always the same for everybody. You're talking about human rights. You're talking about the foundations of what law is. And so people have this confusion. If we could get past this, if people could start to understand that law isn't whatever government tells you this week, guys, law is that foundation. If you have that foundation, and I talk about this a lot, life, liberty, and property, there's the civil law fundamentals. If you want to get the fundamentals of law, why it exists, moral law, now you go back to love your neighbor as yourself. You go back to the foundations of morality and God and all that kind of stuff. And even if you disagree with me on those things as a Christian, the fundamentals of the human rights are the same. Everybody's rights are the same. And on the civil law sense, government can only act within protecting life, liberty, and property. So the legislation they make for it to truly be law, for what judges do to truly be law, for what government officials do to be lawful, it has to be within the boundaries of law, which is the preservation of life, liberty, and property for the sake of order and for the sake of civil morality, civil order, civil rights. And so you bring all of that together and then you compare that, use that as the standard. Now look at the laws your government is passing. Hey, we just passed a law, guys, that says you have to do X, Y, Z and you have to get our permission to have a gun. Uh, no, we don't. You don't get to tell me I have to ask your permission to carry the weapon I need to protect my family. It's not within the boundaries of government. So now let's say somebody gets arrested for that. They go before a judge and the judge says, oh, well, you're a dangerous person. You had this weapon because you wanted it and we say you shouldn't have it. And now therefore we find probable cause that you committed a crime because you had a weapon or because you spoke in the wrong place or this or that or whatever. You have these judges who think they are gods. They think that them and their crony buddies define law itself. They don't. And so now you gotta decide, here's the third step. The first is what law is, the second is what they do with it and when they're abusing it, and the third is how we respond. You have to decide at what point you take a stand. You should always take a stand, defend your neighbor, love your neighbor as yourself. You should always stand for law, but that doesn't mean you can fight every single battle. That doesn't mean I can fight everything the government's doing that's lawless because quite honestly, most of what government's doing now is lawless in the very legal, strict sense of what law is. Think about that, then ask yourself, what's most important? How can I spread the conversation? How can I stand up for liberty? How can I defend liberty and try and restore that in America? And you have to remember, liberty isn't just what you want. It's not like, oh, I'm for liberty and we patriots, we gotta have liberty, but those people over there that I don't like, they should be locked up. That's not liberty. So I can look over here across the street and I can say, wow, I, I really don't like that person because I disagree with them on X, Y, or Z. I have a right to do that. But when I use the force of so-called law to abuse their rights, if I do that, if, if the government comes in and they say, well, because you're a Christian or even because you're a Muslim, you're going to jail, that's not law. Now, if in the name of being a Muslim or being a Christian, somebody violates the rights of another. If they hurt another, now they violated law because they violated the principles of law. And for those patriot Christian friends of mine, don't think that I'm out here saying, you know, yay Muslim. The Muslim religion is filled in a lot of cases with violence, and I disagree with pretty much every principle of it. But 
liberty has to be an equal standard. So we have to judge the individual actions. You can't say we judge you by what faction you're with or what clothes you wear or what your speech is or what your color is or any of those things. All throughout history, lawless judges and, and magistrates have been doing that and it's always proven as a farce in the long term. So let liberty rise to the top by principle and justice, and then take the understanding of what law is, understanding how it's being abused around you, and then finish that with principle and a bold stand, and also the wisdom to decide what hill do you want to stand on? At what point do you say, I absolutely will not comply? And at what point do you just spread the word and educate more people? And don't bow to tyranny. Never lick its boots. Always be defiant and firm. But at the same time, choose wisely how you want to stand and where you should go with it. So these are just some thoughts that came to me. And I just wanted to throw them out there. Just some stuff to think about. America needs to get back to the foundations of liberty. We've perverted justice. Our courts have perverted justice. Our legislatures have perverted law. The lawyers have perverted law. We need to get back to real law. We need to repent. We need to return to the foundations of liberty and, and a nation under God. And I'm not going to force your belief in God on you, but we have to get back to some sort of standard. And if you want to talk about the civil sense, you come back to that civil standard. And to my Christian brothers and sisters, you've got to stop using the name of Christ to do nothing. You've got to start standing up for something. You've got to actually start defending righteousness, loving your neighbor as yourself, and standing up for what's right. Okay, I'm out for now. Take care.